Hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy ML with Jalam in Tech. Today, I want to show you a quick video on how to transfer your pictures from your DVD to your computer. Uh, it's a pretty simple step, and I decided to do it because a friend of mine asked me, um, you know, to do it to show how to transfer the old pictures uh, from uh, the DVDs that seem to be piling up into uh, a computer. Uh, this is great if you just simply want to, you know, get rid of the old DVDs or you don't want to chance scratching those DVDs and you can access your pictures. So this is actually a very uh, useful tip. Uh, to utilize and it's really simple. I'm gonna try to go as slow as, as, slow as I can to uh, You know walk you through every step of the way. Okay, so first of all you want to uh, Obviously make sure that you insert your DVD into the computer Okay, once you do that depending on the settings you have on the DVD uh, once it loads after a few seconds You're gonna send pop here um, in, in the front of the desktop asking you to open it so you can uh, You know open the DVD from there uh, in case it did not open for you uh, It's not the end of the world. I'll show you another way around it. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is open uh, my computer Okay, so you can find it on your desktop. If it's not on the desktop, you can simply go on to the start button uh, and my computers. Okay, so once you locate that, go ahead and open it by double clicking on it. Okay, and once you double click, you're going to see this right here. And basically, you're looking for your DVD, which is uh, basically a picture of a DVD. And it will say DVD ROM. So you can go ahead and double click to open that. And you can see uh, if you have pictures on that DVD, um, you will see those pictures display right here, um, you know, in either a list form or if it's most likely it's going to show in a list form. But you can also expect something like this where it actually shows you the actual pictures. OK, either ways, it doesn't matter. Uh, These steps would work for, you know, either ways. So, um, and then while you're in the DVD, you can decide what you want to do. Uh, do you want to transfer everything that's on the DVD into the uh, what you're opening uh, into the folder that you're creating, or do you just want to transfer part of the pictures? Okay, for this demonstration, I'm only going to transfer just a few of the pictures, okay, because I don't necessarily have to have them on the computer because I already have them on my flash drive. Uh, but just to show you how to go about it, uh, in case you want to copy everything, what you want to do is click one of the files uh, to make sure that the folder is active and you want to locate the control key. Uh, if you're using Windows, it will say C, T, R, L, and that's C as in Charlie, T as in Tom, R as in Robert, L as in London uh, on your keyboard. So you want to locate it once you find it. You want to hold it down, and uh, while you hold it down, you locate the A as an Apple key on your keyboard, and go ahead and press that once. You're gonna see that all the pictures are selected. Okay. And next step, you want to go ahead and right click and hit copy. I'm not gonna copy because, uh, like I said earlier, I don't want to transfer all the pictures. Okay, so that would be your step if you want to transfer everything uh, over to your computer. For my step, because I don't want to transfer everything, I I am going to click on the picture, the first picture that I want to transfer, um, and I'll hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select the last picture that I want to transfer. Okay, you're gonna see it's only three of those that are highlighted. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click. You can see that the same step and um, click copy. Once you do that, you can go ahead and close out of that folder. Okay. And on your desktop or in my documents, wherever you want to basically save those uh, pictures at, you want to go ahead and right click in an empty spot. Okay. And you're going to see this right here. So you want to point to new and new new folder okay once you do that you're going to automatically see an, a folder up here on your desktop and uh, the name new folder is going to be highlighted feel free to go ahead and name that to whatever you want by typing on the keyboard so i'll call it old pictures or old pics okay pictures 
all right once you're done you can click outside of the box okay and you're gonna see that the name is saved okay and uh, next step go ahead and open that folder and once that folder is open you want to go ahead and right click on anywhere here uh, you're gonna see that the folder will say that it's empty okay so you can go ahead and right click anywhere in the folder okay we're gonna go ahead and hit right click and um, paste okay now if you did this right and you copy the pictures you're gonna see that it's gonna start transferring mine came out pretty fast because there's only three of them I transferred uh, if you're transferring a lot depending on how fast your computer is this might take some time so be patient and give it some time once it's done you're gonna see the pictures are gonna be transferred into that folder and you're gonna see the folder title on the top okay so it's just as simple as that guys if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comment below uh, and if you like this video if it was helpful don't forget to hit like um, and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come all right thanks for watching you all have a nice one